Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. It's one o'clock. It is one o'clock, which means only means one thing. We've got another brand new supplier joining us to the wonderful family of Hachanda. And this time it's Pink and Maine. Based over in the United States, they're about, they're about a, a six year old company now, but they know what they're doing because they specialize in stamps, dyes, papers and also embellishments as well and they're the sort of stamps that you could use across the board so whether it's for card making whether it's for your junk journaling whether it's for your mixed media or whether you just like to stamp and color we have got something for everyone on this show from background stamps to alphabets on here and every set more or less comes with a corresponding die set. So when you've got the stamp set, you might also want to think about popping into your basket the corresponding die set as well. Okay, so what we've also got on the show, many, many other things. But what I also want to tell you is treat this show for the sheer fact there is nothing over £17 on this show. Nothing over £17. So everything you see on here is set more or less, nothing's over £17. So these are two separate items. So this is our first stamp set first. They're made in the United States as well. £12 for 11 stamps. 616191 is your item number. So you've got them Autumn's Greetings on there as well. You've got those beautiful sentiments on there. But then you've also got these large flourishes along the top. Now you're getting two of the large flourishes in this. Look at those, and you've got that beautiful bird in there as well, sort of mixed in. There's so much you could do with them. You know what I'm going to say? Yes, you could pop them onto shrink plastic, make embellishments out of them, because we forget that a lot. What we've also got there as well is so much more. So you've got sort of like the leaves that are here. You've also got the, uh, I love, love the sentiments. Love the sentiment, so grateful, thank you for you, um, give thanks, um, blessings to you. Sentiments that you don't get every, in every sort of set as well. Uh, 616191 is your item number, £12.99 pence for these. But we've also got on the show, remember, corresponding dies as well. So if you're liking the stamps and you like to cut things out, You've now got the dies as well. So no fussy cutting no more around that large element. You've also got the smaller dies in there for those smaller leaves that you wanted to. So you've got the two elements in here which match over the, oh sorry, which match that you've got over the dies already. So if I bring the stamps in, so these two large ones here correspond with these two that you've got here. The leaves on the bottom correspond with the leaves that you've also got on the bottom as well. We're busy already, shop ahead online now. The, you could call it the master, as it were, of Pink and Maine, the head honcho as it were, the woman that knows more about craft than, well, that you could shake a stick at in the United States. It's our Laurie. How are you, my love? Hello, darling. How are you? I'm good, thank you. First of all, good morning to you, because it's like eight o'clock in the morning over there. Thank you for getting up bright and breezy. Oh, you're so welcome. It, um, first of all, uh, second of all, welcome to the wonderful world of a chanda. You, you're, you, oh, you're going to love it here. And first question I've got for you, let's go right the way back to basics. Um, as you are brand new, I'm just going to be nosy, to be fair. How did you get into the wonderful world of craft? Wow. Um, how did I get into crafting? Well, that is a really good question. Actually, I used to be a teacher. Um, I was an elementary school teacher for several years, and um, I had been doing crafting as a hobby, mostly paper crafting. And um, from that point on, I decided that I wanted to uh, bring crafting to everyone. And so I left behind the world of education and got into crafting full time. And so um, I started teaching classes in a local area and uh, being on some design teams and having my uh, work published in magazines and it just sort of went from there. So I've been doing it now for about, uh, well, paper crafting in general for about 20 years now. 
Oh, so there's a, there's a lot of experience behind this then as well. Even as I said at the top of the show, the company in South Pink and Main have only been in business for about six years now as well. But mm -hmm. the experience that you've got behind your stamps and behind your dies is you've made, you've already made the mistake. So when we get these home, we can just get them out and start enjoying the products that we got, which I absolutely love. What's the concept? Where do you get your ideas from for these dies and stamps? So our dies and stamps, um, our uh, the, the company's owner, Michelle Curry, she is fantastic. And she is the person that's sort of behind all of this, um, all of these beautiful stamps and dies. And she comes up with all of these wonderful ideas, um, you know, and she has she has the the creative brain to come up with the the beautiful uh, florals and all of these things that you see in our stamps and dies. Uh, we're really into kind of cute, whimsical, uh, fun designs. And, and like I say, Michelle is the person who comes up with all of it. And um, and then it makes everything because her designs are so cute, so adorable. It makes everything just look fantastic. No matter what you do with our stamps and dies, they're always going to look great. Right then, what we're going to do is we're going to get, Laurie's going to stay online. We've got some live demos as well coming up throughout the hours, so don't go anywhere. If you've got any questions as well, this is the prime opportunity because normally we have to do it on video and we can't ask the questions. So if you've got any questions at home, please do not hesitate to email them in studio to channel.com and we'll put your questions over uh, to Laurie in the United States and if she can answer more for, we'll do it all live for you. Right then, let's crack straight on. This is how busy we are already. What well, on this one we're about to talk about, over a quarter of the stock has now already gone, and I've not even given you an item number. Your item number is 621007 is your item number. 26 stamps in total. This is your floral alphabet stamps. So you've got, oh, look at this now. For your junk journaling, this would be perfect. You've got all the letters in there as well that you need. But once again, it'd be good to colour in. It would be good to colour. If you are new to the world of colour as well, um, you can go with all these. Plus, you can go stamp straight on as well. So look at what you can create. You could use your stamping platforms with these. Once again, shrink plastic, shrink it all down. Make your embellishments for the outside if you wanted to as well. But a quarter of the stock has already gone. £14.99. As I said, there is nothing over £17 on this show today. Remember, Pink and Main are a brand new company. They remember that everything is coming from the US as well. There is an extended deliver on it, which is the 19th of June, which is just over a week away, I think, off the top of my head, um, which is next Friday. Can't go wrong. Uh, remember, we've got live demonstrations as well. Absolutely loving the alphabet. 621007 is your item number. Now, I reckon once we see this used, it's going to go ballistic as it were. Look at the size of this background stamp that we have already got. Look how big this is. For £14.99, it's 14 centimetres is what you're looking at here now as well. Look at the size of that stamp. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe for your background, so you stamp straight on, maybe you only use part of the stamp if you wanted to as well. What I like about all these stamps that we've got on the show, and I'm sure Laurie will agree with me as well, that if you wanted to, you could fussy cut, and it's very easy to do. So with things like these that haven't got the dies to go with them, but you think, oh, I'd love to decoupage this stamp up. I'd love to make it bigger into a frame and take out that central image. You can do that with these stamps as well. 000561 is your item number, £14.99. Up next, we have a set of vases on the show as well. Now, once again, two different item numbers, but they work in conjunction together. First of all, we've got the stamp set that we've got here. So the beautiful stamp set, your item number is 878897 is your item number for your stamp set that is here. What do you get in your stamp set? So you're getting these beautiful bouquets of flowers. And then the silhouette vase is on there as well. So you are getting a full blacked out vase. Obviously, if you go into a different colour, it will be that colour. But it is a full on stamp. So it's not an outline you're getting. This is the full 
vase. So if you want a plain colour like we've got in the beautiful here, you can stamp out that colour, but you're also going to get that beautiful edge around it. Then you've got the stunning flowers to add on top. And if you're thinking, you know what, Adam, life is far too short to cut these out. Well, you've got the dies. The details for the dies are at the bottom of the screen. A third of the stock of both of them now, so a third of the stock of the flowers and a third of the stock of the dies has now already gone. Let me give you the details for the flowers first. 878897 is your item number. Remember, these are brand new today. And then the dies are at the bottom of the screen. 516821 is your item number for the dies that we've also got on the show. And these already, a third of the stock has already gone. With this one, with this die and stamp set, once this has gone, this has gone. It will not be coming back. Not the case for all of them. We'll let you know which ones it is. But for this set, if you like the vase set and you also like the die cuts as well, once this has gone, it has gone. And a third of the stock has already gone. £14.99. 878879. Well, I'll start that again. 878897 is your item number for that one. Right then, we're moving on down. Once again, look at the size of these stamps that you are getting. You imagine these in embossing. You imagine them just embossed onto white card with a beautiful embossing just so you get that hint and that colour in the background. You get your sentiments as well and you're also getting that large flower in between. These would work wonderfully with the first set that I bought you. It's slightly larger, £12.99, but you've got five stamps in there. If you're new to the world of stamping, now I know, uh, you know me, I say it as it is, I don't mince my words as it were, but if you are new to the world of stamping, you really don't know where to go. You watch show upon show, and you think, oh, I like them, I like that, or do I go for that? Personally, for me, this would be the perfect place to start. For the sheer fact, at £12.99, you're not going to break the bank. Second of all, you're getting a beautiful stamp, but not just one. You get many stamps on the same stamp set itself. In this case, you are getting five stamps. You're getting the beautiful flower, which could be your main image, and then you're getting the sentiments on there as well. If you are just starting out, you have got yourself a complete card straight away. But then there are other elements that you could also use in there as well. Right, and let's press on because I'm curious. I want to get to a demonstration. And Laurie's sitting there, bless her, on Skype at 8 o'clock in the morning. And all she wants to do is craft. Right, and we're cracking on. This time, jars. Stamps and dies, once again, they don't come as a set. They come individually. I'm going to show you the stamp set first. The stamps that we've got, you're getting 12 stamps in total for £14.99. These are your jars with the flowers that you could pop in the jar if you wanted. You could pop the lid on the jar if you wanted to create jams or chutneys. You've also got that tea light. Now, I've, ne it's, I've never seen stamps like this before with things like you've got the flowers that you can pop in the jar. You've got the lids that you can pop in the jar. You've got the little tops, like the little jam tops you can put in them. Do them out of gingham and you're good to go. It's going to look like a traditional jam. You've got that locket. Now, that locket itself could be an actual locket that you just put on the side of a card next to a picture of a face. So it looks like a necklace. You've got that tea light as well, which could be used for so many things. Christmas, birthdays. Those cards that you don't want to make, but sometimes we have to. You know the cards I mean? You could use these for that as well. £14.99, uh, nearly a quarter of the stamps now have already gone. There is already dies as well. If you don't like fussy cutting out, do not fear. Uh, Pink and Main have thought of everything for you. Uh, we've got Laurie on the show as well. She's live in the, um, in the United States via Skype. We'll be crossing over to her shortly again as well. Uh, these are the dies that we're looking at now as well. The details for the dies are at the bottom of the screen. £16.99 for your Pink and Main Jam Jar die set. 11 dies in total. 499386 is your item number. And then, oh, look at that. But this is just a case if you don't want to fussy cut out, all the hard work has been taken out for you. If you want that professional finish, we'll ask as well later if you can make to sell. Um, what's the angel? 
policy on these as well. We'll ask all these questions when we go back live over to Skype. Uh, I've only got two more things to show you. Now, we've got the terrariums up next. I love that word. There's something about the word terrarium that I like. Uh, we've got terrariums on the show as well. Uh, very modern, the terrarium is. Uh, once again, good to colour, good for your journaling and your scrapbooking, these are. They could be nice little note lit cards or that card that you just don't know what to put on the front. This could be what you use. 596624 is your item number for your terrariums and also you're getting your sentiments in there as well. Uh, feel better soon, thinking of you. You're amazing. Just a note. Hello, congratulations. All of those are in there for you. Hello, uh, congratulations. Once again, so many things that you could use them for. For the dies as well. The details are at the bottom of your screen for the dies. 820792 is your item number, 13 pounds and 99 pence. And you can create stunning cards that look a little bit like these. Look at that. Look at the accents that they've got on there as well. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. 596624 is your item number for the nine stamps. Right then, I am shimmying on over for daisies. This time it's just dies that we're using. So you can see the dies that you've got here to make the beautiful, beautiful daisies. Now all these machines, all the dies will run through any of your um, cutting machines, your die cutting machines, I was going to say embossing machines, uh, any of your die cutting machines or whatever you've got, these dies will work for them. They're also a beautiful die as well. You're not going to lose these with that bright pink, vivid colour that you've got on them as well. So with the sets of dies here, you can see what they're making. So you're getting the centre of the flower, you're getting the petals and you're getting the leaves as well. Once again, you could turn these into sort of the lifelike flowers, cut them out of foam if you wanted to as well. Cut them out of your glitter cards, your reds and your greens to go for that Christmas look. This could be a fantasy flower. It says daisy on it, but it necessarily doesn't have to be a daisy if you don't want it to. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with the flower itself. Uh, curl the petals up to have a closed flower if you wanted to. Nearly 20% of the stock has already gone here, £9.99 for your daisy dies and finally we've got your floral corners that we've got on the show as well look how these cut out look at the detail that are in these absolutely beautiful 16 pounds and 99 pence now these are the sort of dies that if you can't color fussy cut not fussy cut adam paper piece <laughs> i knew it was one of them uh, paper piece Look at the open spaces that you're getting there. You know those backgrounds that you've used to ink up and you don't know what to do with those backgrounds? Cut this out of black, cut it out of white and pop it down and the other colour from the background will seep through. There's a freedom price on this as well, £15.29. 369507 is your item number. Right then, we're going back to Lorry in the United States. We've been sitting patiently on Skype, bless her. Uh, what, before we go to a demo, Laurie, uh, what's the angel policy on these? Can we make to sell? Absolutely. Oh, fabulous. There you go. Look, simple as easy as that. Of course you can. <laughs> you enjoy them and do what you wish with them. Uh, so you can make to sell. Right then, let's go to demo. Remember, any questions, studio at channel.com. Uh, what are we demoing first, Laurie? Um, so what we're going to be demoing first today is um, we're going to try the uh, terrarium set. Okay, fabulous. I love a good terrarium. There's something about a terrarium that can see any uh, occasion as well. And they can be male or female. They can sort of go on them cards that you don't really know what to do with them, can't they? Right, exactly. Um, that's why I really like this set. A lot of times people have uh, issues with finding cards that maybe have more of a, a masculine feel to them or, you know, just a simple sentiment or something like that. And so that's why I really like these terrariums. Um, terrariums have been kind of, um, at least here in the U.S., they've been sort of a hot uh, decorating trend the last couple of years. And so we really wanted to uh, to capture that trend in this uh, particular stamp and die set. And so that's why I really, really like this one because it, you can use this for just about anything, for birthdays, for you know masculine cards that you may need, for sympathy cards, any of those things, this is a really good set for that. 
It is a really, it is. They've got, they all are though. They're all these sorts of sets that you could use for any occasion and any person. These are the sort of sets that you're going to grab for time and time again. They really are. Um, have you got any more finished samples there, Laurie, or are we going straight into a demonstration? The choice is yours. Oh, absolutely. I have got all sorts of good samples for you guys today. Um, so in keeping with terrariums, um, I have this really, um, I have to, well, I have to figure out, don't you just love Skype? You have to sort of figure out which side is which. Um, <laughs> That's beautiful. So exactly is, where it is now is beautiful. All right. Wonderful. So here is another, uh, another card made with a terrarium set. Um, again, just a very simple card. It has sort of a die cut background to it. And then all we've done is we have stamped and die cut out the, the, uh, this particular terrarium with a sentiment that just says hello. And then we used uh, uh, foam dots just to pop that up, just to give it that little extra bit of dimension to really uh, give the texture to your card. No, it is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be slightly cheeky. I'm gonna go for another. I'm gonna go for a cheeky question that I didn't, that yes. I didn't really prep. Um, I is, love cheeky questions. <laughs> well, it's one of these things because you're new to the world of a chanda anyway, and our viewers have never seen Pink and Main before, and you're absolutely loving them. By the way, um, we're very busy. We think we're gonna get sellouts, especially on the alphabets and the florals as well on the vases that are there. Is there more to the collection that we can add on that's going to work with our dies and stamps that we've already got here? Oh, absolutely. Um, we have got um, a variety of items. So we have uh, we have tons of stamps and dies, way more than than just what you uh, what you guys are seeing today. Um, but we have lots of stamps and dies. We also make uh, paper, we make embellishments. We, uh, we have a little bit of everything that you can always mix and match um, for your card making, your journaling, your scrapbooking, any of the wonderful paper crafts that you may do. Um, we've probably got something that, that would work for you. That is, that's good to know though, isn't it? For the sheer fact that don't just think, when you see dies or stamps, you think cards. Everyone does it. You walk in, you think there's a card. I'm not a card maker. I do a bit of mixed media. I don't even do mixed media. I've got a journal. I use my journal. I just write notes, but I might to make it look pretty. These you can still use that for. Take out the die elements. Maybe you don't even die cut. Don't worry about it. You've still got the stamps there that you can stamp out in your journals. You can stamp out in your diaries. Well, I know what you're saying there. You're sitting there, well, I don't do that either. I just like to colour. I just like to sit here and colour. Well, you can do that as well. But guess what? The colouring that you're about to do, you can practise your techniques. Try watercolours. Try your pens. Try them pencils that you got for Christmas that you've never used because you're too scared. Well, don't be. They're large images here that you can use to your heart is content. Really, really is. Right then, uh, have we got any more samples down there or do you want to go into a demo? What do you want to do, Laurie? Um, let's try a demo. Let's, let's do it. Let's get it going. Let's go. All right. So what we're going to do, again, we're going to work with this awesome uh, terrarium uh, stamp and die set. So now I've cheated just a little. Um, I went ahead and die cut and um, and colored in this particular terrarium. I know you guys didn't want to sit and just, you know, watch me color all day. So I cheated a little. Uh, but this is what we've got. So, um, so again, this is uh, like Adam was saying. This is a fantastic opportunity for you to use those those pens or those watercolors, any of those things. Um, me personally, I love like using colored pencils. So, um, so what I did was I went ahead and I just used this uh, used the die in a die cut machine and uh, went ahead and cut that out after I stamped our image. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna make a little card and the card that we're gonna be making today is gonna look a little something like this. Again, if I can figure out how Skype works, there we go. So uh, this is a really simple card. This is just a background that we have done some embossing on. So this is a uh, this is just embossed with white embossing powder. Again, I went ahead and did that. Um, I, I already did the sample for it. So this may just look like white cardstock, especially um, if you're seeing it on Skype. Um, no, no, we can white see it. Card stock. You can see the embossing. Awesome. All right. So it's um, so it's embossed with white. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some um, we're going to take a beautiful ink pad here. So I'm going to go with a green ink pad. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, 
we're going to apply some ink to one of our blending brushes here. And then all we're going to do is we're actually just going to ink over um, the embossed piece of cardstock here. So that's all we're doing is we're literally just adding ink over. And so what you get when you do this is that white embossing powder acts as a resist against that ink. And so what you're going to get is you are going to get this beautiful inked background that you see. Oh, look at that. Okay, so super, super easy. Again, so all we did was we just added ink to the embossed background here. And so it just gives you that really, uh, just a really pretty nice background. So then all we're going to do with that is we are going to, um, I have here a piece of craft. Uh, craft cardstock that is uh, that we've gone ahead and folded. Now um, these are all A2 sized cards. So what we're going to do is we're just going to adhere our uh, embossed piece on top of our craft cardstock. I'm just using a uh, an adhesive tape runner, but of course you guys um, can use whatever sort of adhesive that you like for that. So again, all we're doing is we're literally just adding that to the the cardstock. Now, this is a super, super simple card. Now, Baker's Twine. Do you guys have Baker's Twine in the UK? Yes, I don't we... know. I've never, I've never been to England. I don't <gasps> know what you guys have. You have never. Um, or, if you, or if you call it something different. No, maybe. we call I it don't... Baker's Twine. I can't believe you've never been. You're missing out on the ca entertainment capital of the United Kingdom, Oundle, where we're based. Oh, it's like I, party I central know. here. It's Oh, I'm dying to come. I'm absolutely dying to come. Obviously, you can tell I'm from the South here in Georgia uh, in the United States. Um, so I was afraid you guys might need some sort of a, a translator for me today. So, um, but, no, uh, but I'm doing the best honestly, I can. You wait so. till you come to Andal. They'll all understand you perfectly. You won't understand them, though. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Baker's Twine. So I'm just using a piece of uh, green and white Baker's Twine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to the back of that white piece of cardstock. Um, all I do normally is when I'm wrapping twine, I'll put a little tiny bit of adhesive on the back. And that's where I'm going to start the end of my Baker's Twine. Then all I'm going to do is literally just wrap it around a couple of times. And then the end will wind up on the back as well. And then again, I'll just attach it using just the slightest little bit of adhesive. So now what you've got is, once you put it onto that piece of craft cardstock, you've got this beautifully wrapped twine right here around that piece of paper. Beautiful. Okay. So it just adds just that little bit of texture and dimension. So then all we're going to do is that uh, the pre-cut, uh, pre-stamped uh, terrarium die and stamp that we have. So we're going to use some uh, foam adhesive dots for that. We're just going to place those on the back of, of the, uh, the stamped image. Okay. And then all we're going to do is we're going to peel those little tabs off. And of course, they're not going to cooperate with me since I am on television. Um, so then all we're going to do is we're literally just going to take that and sort of place it kind of over that twine so that it overlaps. That is beautiful. So super, super, super easy. And then all you would have to do at that point is literally just add some sort of a sentiment. And so we have uh, there that come in the terrarium uh, stamp set, we do have sentiments. And so this particular one just says thinking of you. So all you would have to do is literally just take your adhesive, pop a little on there. If you want to pop that up with, um, with the uh, foam tape, you totally can. But again, so this is what you get. So you get something that looks a little bit like this. That. So super easy. This is a card that you can uh, that you can just whip out in just a few minutes. Um, but again, it's really nice because it does have that sort of, um, you know, a little more masculine look to it. So you can always give this to a guy and it's not, you know, super floral or anything like that. Um, again, great for sympathy cards or just thinking of you, thank you cards, any of those things. 
No, it really, really is. Right then, we're going to have a quick recap because we're extremely busy. We'll let Laurie set up for another demonstration and uh, we'll go back over there very, very shortly. Right then. We are very busy across the board. Uh, the floral bouquets is what we're looking at at the moment. In £12.99 is what we're looking at here as well. What you've got here is you've got two lots of the bouquets and then you've also got in there the sentiments as well. So you've got things like autumn greetings, um, blessings to you, uh, giving thanks with gratitude. How often do you see things like with gratitude? Uh, so grateful, uh, thinking of you. You've got those leaves in there as well. So you could, if you wanted to, this will take you through the seasons. You've got summer in there with the colours are on the top. Then you've sort of got autumn in there as well. You could change them into the winter. Um, you could, there is, this is seasonal. Really, really seasonal. £12.99, 616191 is your item number. If you want that professional finish on your cards, if you want that professional look, because it will take your cards really to the next level. Save you sitting there time and time again, fussy cutting out, you're thinking, I haven't got time for fussy cutting. I, I want to get to the fun bit. You want to get to the colouring. You want to get to the, to the making, to the doing, to the putting together. You've got the dies that match as well. You've got the three leaves dies in there, then you've got the two floral large dies in there as well, which would give you this professional look that you can see in the middle just here. Once again, simple elements, but can make a beautiful, beautiful card. And I'm sure Laurie won't mind me saying as well, they are very, very simple cards, but they're also very elegant cards as well. £12.99 for your stamps, your dies, the details are at the bottom of the screen. 650931 is your item number for the dies, £13.99. Floral Alphabet is up next. 70% of the stock has already gone and I've just been informed that once the stock has gone, the stock has gone on our Floral Alphabet. So 70% of the stock now here has already gone. You are getting a full floral alphabet that you see. Every single letter with those florals running through them as well. Every letter is different. Every letter has a different flower. But if you like to colour, if you like to stamp, you do these in black and white, or once again, I'm going to say, you do these in shrink. You can make like a little charm bracelet or a little necklace for, a little, for, for someone little because you've got the tacks in there to do it and it would match beautifully. Maybe you're going to make a little, you know, it's like the little charms that you get for dangle off the back of phones or in a bookmark. You could do that with these. And as Laurie said, you can make to sell, so you could make a batch of these. And when all these shows get back up and running, you would have a batch and go, right then, what would you like to charms made out of? And they can do, oh, well, I've one of them, three of them, two of them, you're good to go. You would make your money back quite quickly on these, I feel. £14.99, 621007 is your item number. Remember, once it's gone, it has gone. The large background stamp is what we're talking about now as well. This is busy as well. £14.99 here for this super large background stamp. Now, as you can see, there are many different elements in this stamp which you could use time and time again. Fussy cut out. I know I just said, and I, I know you were thinking, what have you just said? You don't need to fussy cut out. You haven't got the time. With things like this, though, if you like to fussy cut, this is your way forward. Maybe you want a decoupage. Maybe that is your thing. Well, you can do that with this because it's big enough to do, but you've still got the detail that's already in there. If I show you these ones as well that I've also got that have been sent in, absolutely beautiful. You've got that emboss on there as well with the watercolours on there. I think it looks, it looks stunning on black card, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, very busy on this, £14.99. Once again, have you seen a theme? It would work with your alphabet. This would, they would all work together that we've got so far. Vases is what we've got next though. Limited stock for both of them, for the stamps and the dies as well. We are now limited stock, which means we have less than 10% of the stock remaining. This could be our first sellout of the hour. 878897 was for your stamps and then for your dies uh, the item number is 516821 is your item number for the dies as well the different item numbers but if you want both of them most people have put both of them in their baskets and they're checking them out um, because 
you know, you know, the minute you get these home, you're going, I wish I would have got those dies. I could have fussy cut them out, save me fussy cutting. I could, I could go straight in. You could batch do them. Reel them off, reel them off. Because look at the detail that you've got in there. It wouldn't take you long to fussy cut them out. You're still going to get the detail in there as well. But if you've got the dies on the show, you might as well get them as well. Remember, only if your budget will stretch to that. Only go within your budget that we're talking about here. Uh, right then, let's go back to Laurie for another demonstration as well. The first one was amazing. And remember, all these dies and stamps lend themselves to so many things. Really look into the stamp and think, well, I could do that, just that bit. That's all I want. Just stamp that bit up if you want as well. Right then, Laurie, what are we demoing next? What are we looking at? Let's see, so next what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about the uh, daisy die, okay? So no stamp involved, just the die, but we're gonna talk about this cute little daisy. Okay, fabulous. And I know Adam had, Adam had said earlier that um, with the daisy, you can do so many different things with it. You can curl the petals up, you can make all sorts of different uh, colors. It doesn't necessarily have to look like your typical daisy. And so I have a card here that really shows that off. Um, so you can see, so here we have a birthday card. So the background is done with the daisy dye, but you can see it's done in all these different pastel colors. And then the middle is done with, um, with sort of a, a gray and then a sparkly paper underneath so that each one of those little, uh, little holes in the middle of that daisy, it has that little bit of sparkle. And so it just gives it that little, that extra oomph that you need to really it, wow whoever gets this card. It is beautiful. It also, while you were talking about that card, we were discussing what it also looks like. So remember that is the daisy die, okay? But it also looks like, uh, I don't know if we have them in the States, but I know that we have here. Do you remember the old connects? that we used to get as well. Yes. So if you're making a kid's card, you do those out of different colors, they could be connects. We also said if you cut the centers out and just use the sticks, they could be used as lollipop sticks. So you could then start Absolutely. creating other things around there, all from a daisy. It's a daisy stamp, but we thought connects, other building materials are available. Um, I've got to get that in. Uh, but you've got the connection there. You've got your lollipop sticks in there as well. But you could cut them out and use them as other things if you want. The sun, for example. You know on those little children's cards when children just do little sticks? Uh, you could do an aeroplane propeller as well if you wanted to. Oh, you know, let's see the demo. But if Pink and Main need two people on your design team, we're there. Me and Webster. So, exactly. And so um, another thing that you can use this for, and I know this is going to sound weird, but if you look at the middle of, uh, just cut out the middle of the daisy and the little thing that goes over it, imagine if you did that in um, like some brown and black, it looks like a cookie or, oh, I'm sorry, we are in the UK. It's a biscuit. Uh, so you can make that, you know, imagine if you had like a little jar, uh, maybe you bought our jar uh, <gasps> stamp and die set. You could make a little jar of biscuits. Kids. Yes, Think about you, that. Yes, it How could fun is be. That? It could be, there's so oh. much, see, really think, we, are, we will go to the demo in a minute, but I, I, this is where I get excited. When I see other things in dice, I like you to get your money's worth, as it were, and you really can with this. So you can now see, uh, you've got biscuits in there, you've got cookies in there, so it could be like a cookie jar, if you wanted it to be. There's also, so, they really, really think, we also said a burger. You know, like your, your McDonald's burgers and things like that. You could turn it into your burgers. And if you be creative with the other things that's in there, there's so much you can do. Right then, I'm going to be quiet now. Uh, we'll go live to the America for our very first, second even, demonstration. Go on, Laurie, it's all yours. All right. So what we're going to do next is uh, last time for the demo, we did a card. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a tag. OK, so this is just a tag. Imagine you can use this as a card, but you can also use it literally as a gift tag. So you can uh, tie a piece of ribbon through the top here, uh, attach it to a birthday gift or a wedding gift, something like that. You can also use this in your journaling. So say you do junk journals or something like that. Uh, you can always have a tag like this. Uh, that you can decorate. So it's something just a little bit different than your regular card, but um, 
but just using this shape, you can do so much with it. And so all we're going to do is we're literally just going to ink the background of this. And then we're going to use that beautiful daisy dye. And so like we were saying before, you can use that dye, that daisy dye for all the different things. Notice that I said that it could be, uh, that it could be cookies. Um, I think mostly that's just because um, I haven't had breakfast yet because it's 830 here. I haven't had breakfast, so I'm a little hungry. That's where my brain is going this morning. But what you can do with this beautiful tag is, again, all we're going to do is, um, so I just have uh, a blending brush and a beautiful ink pad. So this time we're just going to use a pretty hot pink. So all we're going to do is just tap this out. So tap our brush onto our ink pad, and then we're just going to apply it to the front of our tag. Again, super, super easy. It just gives it that really nice sort of a uh, um, watercolor almost look to it because it is just that, uh, that beautiful pink color. You can make it as dark or as light as you want. But again, all we're doing is we're literally just adding that little, those little pops of color there. And again, it's just, it's going to show you how simple uh, it is just to create something that uh, even though it only takes you a few minutes, it's uh, it's really, really, really going to pop and it's really going to make people think, oh, they spent forever on this. How lovely. So now all we've done is we've literally just colored, just inked the background for this tag. And then all we're going to do is we're going to attach our daisy. So, um, so I have, again, I've cheated a little. I've already pre-cut uh, out our daisy, uh, the daisy dies. So what I did was I cut out three of them. So in your die set, you're going to get one of these daisies, but what you can do is you can cut out multiples of them and then you're just going to layer them on top of each other and sort of spread those petals out. So you're going to kind of stagger the petals. If you see kind of how I did that there. Yep. Beautiful. I literally literally just layered those so you can layer as many of these on as you'd like uh, to make your flower as full as you want so what we're going to do is we're just using a little bit of uh, a little bit of glue here a little glue pen that we're going to use and we're just going to put the uh, adhesive just right in the middle there okay so then again staggering those petals just like that and then we are going to add that third layer with this, with, again, with the stagger petals. Okay, so you get something that looks a little bit like this. And again, if you want to, you can always take your finger and sort of pop some of those up just to give it that extra, that extra little bit of dimension there. Beautiful. So it gives you a little something like that. And so then I've, uh, I've die cut the middle. Now what you do uh, in the set, you do get two of these, you get little dies like this. So the one that is solid, it is, uh, we always cut that usually out of a different uh, shade of paper than your, than the actual middle, because what's gonna happen is those are gonna layer on top of each other. So uh, all you're gonna do is you're gonna put just a, just a smidge of adhesive on there and layer them on top just like that. Put yet another little tiny bit of adhesive on the back, and then you're going to put that, just pop that right there in the middle of your flower. Now, another thing you can do is if you don't want to use particularly the middle of that, you can always use like a big, uh, like a jewel, some kind of a gem, a rhinestone, something like that in the middle. And then I've cut out just one little leaf here. So all we're going to do is we're literally just going to attach this to that tag uh, that we have already inked. So I'm, again, just using that little bit of adhesive. So we're going to just place that, uh, going to place that leaf right there on the tag. And then we are just going to put our daisy right there. Okay, that's it. Super simple, super easy. But look at all the dimension. Look at all of the uh, the the texture that this card has, that this tag has. That would just look so pretty. Imagine that on uh, on a beautiful wedding gift or something like that. Run some uh, ribbon through there. Maybe put a sentiment on it. Maybe not. If you're using this for a journal, uh, you can leave it just like that. But again, that's something that uh, it's really simple, but it makes a really, really big statement. No, it is beautiful. But what you could also use as well, for just for example, say you did the tags, you could also use them for invitations if you wanted to as well. That simple summer party that maybe you have every year and you struggle every year to find the right invitation. 
Well, remember, once you've got the die, you can cut it out of whatever cardstock you like. It's your choice because it's your daisy. But as we said before, it doesn't have to be a daisy. This one here, the leaf die, could be a rocket if you wanted it to be. That leaf die there could be a rocket on the front of a card and you've got two planets that are here as well. There is so much more than a daisy in these dies, but you just have to look for it. Nearly a third of the stock here now has already gone. Nine patterns and 99 pence. 705203 uh, is your item number as well. Right then, let's swap these over because we're very busy on this stamp set as well. Uh, we'll see if Laurie can set up for another demonstration. We'll see if we can get another one in before the end of the hour. Uh, right then, £12.99 is what we're looking at for these sets of stamps that we've got in front of me at the moment. You're getting five stamps in total is what you are getting here. Uh, you're also getting that sentiment of kindness in there as well. The large floral that you're getting would look beautiful just embossed or embossed in. Uh, it just stamped out in a beautiful colour, maybe just black black and white maybe or turn it around do it in the white with the black card but you've got the options because you've got the stamps that are there as well £12.99 385244 is your item number right then we're shimmying on down this time the jars the jars are very busy for these I'm being told over half the stock of the stamp set has now already gone and a third of the die set has now already gone as well uh, what are you getting? So you're getting the two jars at the bottom, but then you're getting the, uh, the accoutrement, as it were, to look at me being French, uh, to put everything in the jar. Well, it's like the, the accompaniments, isn't it? But it doesn't sound as nice, the, the accoutrement, uh, to go into the jar as well. So you've got those flowers there. You've got that little lid as well that you could put on the top of the jar. You've got this, you could put this around the neck of the jar if you wanted. A little candle, the heart, the ribbons. There is so much on there. There are even the little tag to go around, but you could turn that into a rosette. You could also turn that into a medal. This one here is the jam jar lid, but you could turn it into a coin if you wanted to as well. Or a little ladder, you could turn it into a, a little hamster wheel if you wanted to. Piano keys, our director is on form with this set. I think Pink and Main is his bag, he's found his calling. Uh, but there, you've also got the jars in there as well. Those jars, once again, really, really helpful that you want them to do, because you could fill them with anything and everything that you've already got. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence for 12 stamps for your jars. And you've also got your dies as well. Uh, we've had a quick question in Laurie um, from Margaret from Brighton she's asking that is there a, a group on the social medias for inspiration that people put on yes absolutely uh, what? Um, we have uh, on Facebook we have a Facebook group uh, that is uh, that's uh, for pink and main and it's a uh, pink and main creations gallery I believe is what it's called and there's tons of ideas on there. You can look at our Facebook page. You can look at our main website um, and YouTube. And we've got all sorts of beautiful ideas uh, using all of these different stamp and die sets. Beautiful. Right then, um, let's sit it. How long we got? We've got, we've got about seven minutes. Can we squeeze in another demonstration? Yes, of course. Let's do it then. Let's crack, let's crack straight on. I'll, we'll stay with a picture of you. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the last one that we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the floral corners die. So again, this is the uh, the beautiful die. So no stamp involved, literally just the die cut that you can use. Uh, again, works with any sort of die cutting machine like your manual machines, you know, with the little hand crank. Or uh, it also works with any of your electric die cutters as well. So I love the floral corner dies because you do get two beautiful dies in this set and they're nice and large. Um, so as they're showing here, we've got these, the two. So one you get is a little larger. One is a little smaller. You could use both of those um, on a card. You could use just one. And so, um, so you can see there that really pretty, um, 
sample that we have, but I absolutely adore this die set because it is so versatile because you can do so many things with it. So I have cut a couple of examples. Um, one of the things that I absolutely, that I just love, love, love to do is uh, I love working with alcohol inks. And so, you know, just making backgrounds. I know a lot of people like to make backgrounds, you know, using uh, watercolors or alcohol inks or any of those things. And then you, after you've made these backgrounds, you think, well, what am I going to do with that background? I, you know, I don't know what to do. Well, why don't you die cut some of those? Um, so imagine that you've taken your alcohol inked background that you've done um, and then you die cut it and you turn it into uh, something like this. So look how beautiful that is. And it's literally just nothing but that dye that you've used on, uh, you know, with your alcohol inked background. So absolutely gorgeous. So the, the last little thing that we're going to do with this is we are going to uh, just have a card. Um, so I won't go through the full demo because I know that we're kind of limited on time, but I'm going to kind of show you what you can do with this. So we're talking about just simple elegance. Uh, and with our dye, and stamps that is something that you can really get it's just that simple elegance so just take a look at this particular card here so literally all this is is black cardstock here we have die cut using the floral corners die okay so this is the smaller of the two dies that come in the die set okay so we have cut this out of glitter cardstock and then have just filled it in with um, with black embossing powder and just heated that up. That's it. That's all that is. But it is so elegant. Just look how pretty that is. And then we've just, uh, we've stamped uh, a sentiment on there. But again, just imagine you could always leave that blank or you could stamp and emboss a sentiment or something like that. But it does give you just that beautiful, simple elegance uh, that you don't have to do a lot of work for to really get this look. No, it really does. What you could also use them for as well, I was just looking at your, the finished sample that you're holding in, looking at the one in the studio. You could also use it for photo corners. You know when you put Absolutely. photos into a journal? You could now paper piece that back in, and but then you could put the photo under the corner maybe of one of the large petals that you've got there so you don't see where the corners go back in. Um, it's absolutely beautiful is what we're looking at. 16 pounds and 99 pence for this set of dice. Have we haven't, I don't think we've got time for a demonstration, but have you got any more finished samples that you can show of just from the entire collection? Anything at all? Yes, uh, of course. I have got all sorts of beautiful samples that I can show you guys. So this is one. Uh, this is another using the beautiful floral corners dye. So all this is is they've cut it out of white and just done like a watercolor background with this. So that's just really something beautiful that you can do with the floral corners. Now I know that the the vase. Uh, the vase or the vase, as you would say, uh, set has been uh, selling really well. So this is yet another card that you can do with those. Uh, again, another one with these beautiful vases done. So we've used all three of the vases on one card. And then we have uh, given that a little bit of texture with some embossing powder on the top. We are very, very limited stock for that one now. So if you like the, the vases or the vases, depending on where you're from, <laughs> uh, if, if you do like them, I'd get them. We're very, very limited. We're down to six single figures on those as well. Right, and let's see how many finished samples we can get in in the next couple of minutes. Perfect. All right. So um, yet another one. So this is that beautiful fall bouquet that you guys saw. But again, like Adam was saying, you don't necessarily have to use it for fall. It can take you through all seasons. So this particular one is done in more of uh, spring or summer colors. And we've just turned that into just a really beautiful thank you card. Um, another one with our terrariums. Uh, we've taken this done a stenciled background, die cut the terrarium here. And this is a nice little card. It just says feel better soon. And so we have uh, taken some, uh, um, I believe, glossy accents. Uh, I don't know what you, uh, yeah, you guys no, have yeah, that over yeah, there. But yeah, them. so glossy yep. accents. So we've got that over the top. So um, shaker cards. We love shaker cards. And this is a shaker card that we have done, again, using that terrarium set. Uh, so the cute little terrariums and, and just made a, a shaker card out of it. So we have got absolutely 
all kinds of beautiful cards that you can make. So birthday cards, wedding cards, thank you cards. I know so many people have been making thank you cards for uh, first responders, for your NHS workers, for all those things lately. Um, and these would be some great stamp and die sets to use for those types of cards as well. That they really, really would be, and they'd be beautiful all the way around. We've now we we've only got a minute to go before the end of the show. Uh, so, Laurie, my love, thank you ever so much for skyping in. I know you've been up since ridiculous o'clock this morning. Cause it's only what's the time now? It's ten to nine in the morning down in Georgia. Yes. Enjoy your day, whatever you do for the rest of today. And fingers crossed, next time we see each other, you'll be here in the studio with me as well. Uh, stay safe, oh, and I'll speak so. to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. <gasps> Live from Georgia. Oh, it's like the Eurovision doing these Skypes sometimes. Love it. Uh, remember, though, uh, Pink and Main, brand new to the world of her chanda. They're not only do they work in stamps and dyes, they also work in embellishments and also papers as well. If you've got anything in your baskets at the moment, I would definitely check it out, especially for those limited stock items that we were talking about earlier. Uh, so the vases and also the, ve uh, the, uh, the vases, I was going to say that. But you've got the vases and also you've got the vases star dyes as well are very, very, very limited. The floral alphabet is nearly limited stock as well. Uh, this is on the website. Everything's on the website for you as well as i said there's nothing over 17 pounds on this show from pink and main it's absolutely stunning quality as well remember the, the there's angel policy on here so you can make whatever you want you can make and sell whatever the daisy die that we did on the demonstration as well and there's also those corner dies that we've already got we've only got 20 seconds left start checking out your baskets i don't want you to miss out on any of this whatsoever Al leone is coming up next with our janice i will see you on saturday morning bright and breezy Whatever you do, stay safe and I'll see you in a few days' time.